says it's live. Alright, um, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the Apostles and Elvis of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And, uh, you know, we're just going to get into a quick lesson on how, you know, more mandates are going to lead to more chaos. All right. And, um, pretty much, you know, the brother and I were just discussing a few things and we saw some uh, video clips from, uh, what was it, uh, Melbourne, Australia, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, basically, people are, um, they're, they're, they're really riding out there, you know, it's actually getting physical, you know. They, they're attacking cops, all right? And the cops are attacking, you know, the people, okay? And eventually, you know, that type of um, lawlessness, okay, and rebellion is going to hit here in America, all right? And pretty much, you already see things brewing up. You have um, the CPD. A lot, of, um, a lot of these cops are about to, you know, put down the badge because they have these mandates you know to get you know stabbed and jabbed all right in order to keep that job and it's coming uh they have to get that by october 15th all right a couple weeks from now let's say what three weeks roughly you know around three weeks man and not only them you even have uh the teachers right they gotta uh you know get the stab you know they gotta get stabbed up in order to have their jobs and a lot of them are about to quit too okay a lot of nurses uh, basically these are essential jobs all right you know you know teachers you know police officers firefighters garbage men etc right you know st uh, streets and sanitation workers these are jobs that are needed to basically have a society run and you're gonna have a chunk of these people quit the job that means you know chaos is around the corner man mm -hmm. all right Got something or no? Uh, yeah, this is um, speak up too. This is second Ezra chapter 14, uh, verse 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall, shall be done hereafter, mm. which is what we're about to come into, man. Because we're coming into a time to where, okay, uh, it's gonna be greater destruction that's happened since the, the world began, not to mention. Even uh, in this day and time, because you know what? This this world is used to having so-called freedoms, all right? And now they're seeing that those freedoms are being uh, manipulated. It's uh, actually being shown that you really never had one to begin with. It was just uh, an illusion, you know? I was watching that, that show, Strain, and um, one thing the master said on like uh, the last season, he was like, uh, he basically said, let this, uh, let this world of coexistence in. Because they, 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 basically he had in a, in a certain state of martial law, uh, so-called, you know, after the, the new cat set off or whatever. And then he's like, you know what, he told- The scriptures say, man, in 2nd Ezra, we're in that time period. People are, uh, but see, this is all orchestrated by whom? Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Yep. All right? And I'll say this, the Lord's using Esau, okay, to push these people in this, uh, into these positions. All right? Yep. You know, these people are about to lose it, man. They're about to lose it. It says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, which is the time that we're in now, you know, that the uh, this earth has become weak, us likewise. And, and Esau preys upon your, your, your health by trying to make it weaker, your, your mental stability, you know. As far as, because uh, hey, uh, the average male in, in America is depressed. Shit, even these women themselves, of course. Uh, the healthcare is failing because we live in a healthcare system that is based off of death. It's not. It's not based off of actually making you healthy. All right, you don't have a decent living wage. All right, this this whole society is extremely weak in in, in every way. The money system, everything. It's all right, polluted. it's all polluted. It says so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, hmm. and that's what we're about to see, man. You're about to see people often others you know for for their goods man for whatever they may have you know hey, elder malcolm has said it um when we were at camp um two weeks ago 
he made a statement um, during you know our camp session. He said that there's uh, women right now who are actually becoming prey. All right, you know these women, you know that are alone. You know they're shopping. You know getting their, you know groceries. And people, in yeah, and people are robbing them now. Yep. People are robbing these uh, these uh, so-called independent women. And that's and you never really heard about that stuff, you know. You know, you heard about people, of course, you know, robbing you, you know, for your car or you know your purse, whatever. You know what I mean? Jewelry on you, you know, the cash that you had, you know, that you had, you know, on you. But you never really heard about people robbing for for food. But we're getting into that time period now where people are really hurting out here. People are really, really hurting. And yeah. as time keeps going, you know, bypassing. You're going to keep seeing the increase in crime. And of course, like we say all the time, we ain't the only ones that's fed up with women. This <laughs> shit is. Oh, yeah. it, it, like the guy who, what they, uh, they was looking for the guy, I don't know if they caught him, but he kicked the woman in the chest. Oh, that was hilarious. Everybody wanted to come. York? Yeah, they, everybody wanted to come to the rescue on the comments, boys, but they went out there to save her then. <laughs> she, she's rolling down the up es escalator, man. That's, that's the type of stuff we talk about on the line. It came to pass, man. Yep. You know, that was, that was the spirit of the Lord, you know? And, that, and more and more stuff is going to start happening like that. It's not happening to you men, too, man. Like the one guy who, uh, you know, who was that? It was a, a guy who got out of prison who um, invaded a man's house, two men's house, and he raped two men. You know, okay. this, this is, wild. and it's, it's not even to that point yet, man. You know, it's, it's, it's like my bad that you were done. Sorry. No, I'm just, just going to say another thing. Uh, out here in Chicago, just as just as recently, what they've been taking down the the, the stoplight cameras, man. Jake been taking these motherfuckers oh, yep. is bugged out. They, hey, they do these things that, when you know the tree is green. Yep. You know, pretty much how much I forgot how it's exactly worded, but if how these things be done in the green tree? How much more in the dry, man? Exactly, it would, and the the tree is still green. There's still fruit on the tree. We haven't gotten to the you know that time period where the tree is bare. So, how much more when that you know when that tree is really bare? You know, hey, yeah. they, these crumbs expressway. I forgot exactly how many days they uh, I saw this. Um, I heard this report, they said it was like I think like 140 days, and this is I think like two weeks ago when I heard it. They said uh, you know, 40 shootings, uh, 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 140 days there's been shootings on the expressway. It was something crazy, it was a huge number. We've never seen that before. Now, Chicago's wild, but. You would hear about a shooting on the expressway every so often. Now it's becoming literally a common thing. This is what's gonna be common in small towns. It's gonna be even worse when when shit actually hits yeah. the fan here, man. Hey, you had the one guy. I don't know if you heard about this. This guy in uh, Kankakee, which that's a um, that's almost like a rural town. It's a, it's about like what Kankakee's like what like an hour and a half or something. I forget where Kankakee is. An hour, it, two hours. Yeah, depending on where you're at in the, in the city of Chicago, it's like an hour or two. I can't remember now. Yeah, hour and a half or two hours. Yeah, I, yeah it's, some, it's about two hours yeah. from the northwest suburbs, so it's about like an hour and a half yeah. from here. You know, away from Chicago, yeah, you know, hour and a half away from Chicago, they had a guy literally shoot up the uh, um, the courthouse. And this was a couple weeks ago. But people are really, man, they're, they're losing it, man. You know? It's just like uh, that first purge. Everybody's just so angry. They just want to purge, you know, yep. which is that's what it's going to come down to, man. And then we always keep on saying it. Once they turn the 5G on, these people are really going to start reacting crazy. And some of these towers are on, you know, along with these jabs. But once the Lord tells Esau to really push those buttons, man, for things to actually get to that estate, you're going to see things done on a scale to where Damn, I thought it was weird yesterday. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Like, uh, what was the angel said? That, uh, Come, son of man, I shall show the uh, greater abominations than these, man. So there's going to be some wild shit that you're about to see, man. You're about to see things get worse and worse. You thought yep. that this was bad. Well, what about this? Damn, you thought this was bad. What's behind door number three? Yeah. Ah. Uh, what you got up? Uh, just a little bit more. Sugar. Okay. And then after that, can you get, um, was it Second Hazard 15? Kind of. So we've been talking about this. Just one page over. Yeah. <laughs> it says, uh, it says, um, in verse, verse eighteen, it says, "For the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand." So you know, hey, the the times of uh, or things of the of the normal <laughs> are gone, man. This is the new normal, man. Yeah. That time is gone, man. Y'all yeah, yeah. can kiss that goodbye. It says, "For now, haste is the vision to come which thou hast seen." 
All right. Yo. You want verse 19? Uh, started like 15, right? 15 or 16? I think second edge is like 15. Yeah. Maybe 14? Yeah, 14. It's the second edge, chapter uh, 15, verse 14. And I gotta say this. These bug outs, man. <laughs> but uh, hey, we, you're gonna keep hearing these scriptures come out because we're pretty much living in that time period. This is the time period we're in now, okay? Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16. Yep. And hey, these are serious uh, um, matters, though. These are this is the evil, man. That, that, that the brother was, you know, uh, bringing out. These are the evil times, you know? All right? Because the brother, you, you brought it out in that one scripture, in that second Ezra's 14, you know, basically how evils are going to grow. Yep. These are the evils that it's talking about in this second Ezra's 15. Yeah, because this, this plant of the evil seed that was sown since Adam is now at its, uh, at, at, at its peak. It's coming ripe. That fruit is yep. coming ripe now. It's, it's ripening, man. All right? Now it's time for the Lord to come down and chop it down. It's, 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 it's at its highest point. It's the second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sower and their destruction draweth not. Yep, and that's what's coming. You're gonna keep hearing about more rebellion, you know, more death, more chaos. You know? That hey, that's what's uh look at this guy, man. Oh my god, man, Chicago's full of bug out. Bro. This is, it is a little bugged out, but then what's so bad about it? That's not that's not that bug. I know, but it <laughs> depends on what he's transporting. Man, it's just bro. Chicago, man. Yeah, That's Chicago, it. bro. But uh, but yeah. But point being though is, man, you're gonna see more and more evils. All right, more yep. crimes, more death. All right. Yep. Keep going on. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. That's right. And swords in their hands. Yep. So all types gonna, of weaponry. Yep. You're gonna have all type of you know a weaponry weaponry being used. All type of uh, uh um, uh, you know, fightings, whether it be a, a you know. Race riots to you know class you know riots all right the food riots all that stuff is coming that's what's coming yep. all right and it says uh well, there shall be a sedition among men yeah and we're already in that phase all right because yep. sedition it talks of, uh, when you uh, look up that word it basically uh insurrections yeah it says um um basically whether it be verbal. Oh, yeah. uh, insurrections or whether it be actual physical insurrections, okay? And then right now, you know, throughout the world, it's pretty much verbal, but you're getting to a point though, things are becoming physical insurrections now. People trying to, hey, these people are busting back, man, at their governments. Yep, and that's because of all these rules and regulations and mandates. Yep. Yep. Hey, hey, Pete, the reason why they're going, um, they're rioting right now out there in Melbourne is because it's like a two week, um, it's a two-week shutdown right now because of, uh, uh, um, oh, man, it was something to do with, like, uh, I forgot how they worded it exactly, but something to do with the, you know, the Rona uh, construction, man. That's, a, that's the term they used, all right? Which is, yes, that's going to destroy the economy, man. You know, that's going to destroy people's livelihoods. They, they, as a matter of fact, going back to the movie, I mean, to the show Strain, in the beginning of the, uh, of the season... That's the reason why they didn't want to, you know, it's like you kind of got to use Esau psychology when they kind of twist things in shows like that. And it was acting like, well, we don't want to do this because then I'm not going to risk this. If it's just something so small, we could do this. It's going to destroy the economy. They wasn't even talking about shutting it down as long. When y'all think about it, these shutdowns have been destroying the economy and they've been destroying livelihoods. And it's really been killing what? Small businesses, which most people who have not been uh, down with, with this agenda, you know, have not been buying into, of course, taking, uh, pushing, uh, you know, uh, masking up or 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 getting y y uh, yobbed up. You know, they're not pushing that. All right, so that, that's really a part of Esau killing that off, man. Yep. You know, because it's supposed to bring you to nothing. So, mm -hmm. so you, all that you would have is who me. You come to me now. Now yep. you have no choice, but you got to come to me. Mm -hmm. I got everything you want. And I'll say this too. They, uh, going into how they keep killing the small businesses, you know, they want you to go to what? The big corporations. Yep. And the reason why, too, too, is like how you said, you know, to come to me. And it, it, what are these big uh, businesses pushing? AI. Yep. And what's that pu going to push? 
Hey, the Karagma. Yep. All right, that Revelation 13 and 16. Because that's ultimately what's uh coming down the pipeline, man. All right? All roads lead to this. Yep. Okay? Yep. All roads are leading to that, 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 that Revelation 13 and 16. Yep. Okay? That, you know, that implantable device, you know? Yep. <laughs> you got you to gotta make sure you word these things properly. Marcus Aurelius. Are you gonna get you know a nice good old <laughs> you know strike? You're gonna be in your YouTube jail. All right, but um, is there more? Yeah, come. On. It says, for there shall be sedition among men yep. and invading one another. Yep, that's right. So not only is it gonna be uh, uh, insurrections, uh, whether verbally or physically, against governments. Okay, that thing's gonna turn physical. And people are also be going in to others because they're not gonna have enough, man. Eventually, it's gonna come down to that. You know, it's even gonna come down to those who who follow after everything that the government says. They're gonna start getting rations, and then those who have not followed anything that the government says as far as taking these things, they're gonna steal from you. Yeah. <laughs> so the little bit that you do have, they're gonna take that shit. Uh, I think it's the scripture that goes that way. That uh, he that hath not shall be. Uh, I mean, it's talking mostly about faith, but even says uh, in the scripture where it says, "He that hath little shall be taken that taken away from him, even that which he hath." The little bit of, you know, roughly paraphrasing that says that, you know. So that's what's about to come, man. Even the little the little trinkets that you get from E is gonna be taken away from you, all right? Because somebody's gonna steal it from you, you know. That's what the scripture says. But it says, "They shall not regard their kings nor princes." So it's not gonna. Hey, it doesn't matter what the government says. Uh, they're, 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 nobody's gonna be listening to that time, man. Yep. No official is gonna stop these people, man. All right. Yep. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Woo. Yep. So hey, hey, those lower level officials, man, you're smoke. Yep. Because the Lord is gonna allow these um these people to get 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 their hands on them, you know. Yep. All right. It, I think it even says that in the Book of Job. Uh, every hand of the wicked, which yeah. when you go into it means uh, the laborers, basically your slaves, they're gonna get their hands on them, man. Yeah, he's just gonna be All in right? straits. So you know, it, you know, it start, of course it starts off with the lower level, you know, uh, uh, officials, and then eventually it's gonna climb up. Yep. Hey, uh, hey, these. If you're not a part of that, you know, that elite elite group, okay, you're you're done. And then ultimately they're gonna be done anyways, because yep. the elect is gonna get the the the, the, the elite. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to snatch up the elite, man, when they try to run away from their judgment. All right? Starting, hey, well, first off, Salaki, it starts off with Yahweh Shah. Yep. All right? He gets first pickings. Yep. <laughs> Let's go down here. I kind of a lot And it shit. says, uh... All right, it's really a lot. It's all good. And it says, it's all bad. I heard that, and the man. courses that actually shall stand in their, hand, in their power... And it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Woo, and that's, hey, we were talking about that, right? Um, you, right now, because the brother and I were um, talking about the airlines and flights and all that. And uh, this brother was talking about how domestic, there's a lot of rules and regulations for uh, just domestic flights, right? And uh, I mentioned to him that basically, I don't know if it was he today or was it yesterday? I forgot. Today, it, was, today. it was today? Okay. Yeah. They, uh, they just announced that if you're traveling internationally you have to be you know poked up oh oh no no that that, that was yesterday yep okay you know it was yesterday they they uh they mentioned that that you have to be poked up that that's the start right there you're not going to be able to travel from one city all right to the next and then it's just going to get worse and worse man then it's going to go you know say if you're in the you know the states then you're not going to be able to travel from state to state then it's going to go from um what is that uh county to county city to city and then the man's gonna get so bad you're not gonna be able to travel from neighborhood to neighborhood <laughs> that's it yep that's that's what it's gonna trickle on down to man yep you know and and we see that coming uh in which of course you got states like uh arizona pushing back against it which yeah, that's how you know they really about to come for that state man they may they about to make it hard for those people there oh, and yeah. most of those citizens you know who uh it's a lot of citizens. It was both that is that in those states who man, they might as well just let us take their houses, man. And they come up to these these stupid ass blue states. <laughs> but most of those citizens, you got citizens down there that, that want uh, this agenda. 
and then they want things like that so guess what they're gonna be pressing against that too it's gonna be fights within that within that that state as well man yeah just like when you go to states like texas you still see people surprisingly down there masked up oh yeah yeah i was just down there you know a lot of them are but a lot of them are too you like, know why man because they 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 uh part of the uh, part of that state has been polluted with this agenda that esau is on and esau mm -hmm. knows it you know that's it he, he he builds his empire off of uh Cointel pros and 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 uh insurrection man you know that's how he takes over nations he knows that uh when a nation is it's easy to be it's easily conquered any type of uh group is easily conquered when there's division that's so right. of course he, he doesn't care that uh, it might be a few of them that, that, that's not with it as long as it's uh some that is you know and he can continue to press his little demonic seed into it and, and and continue his agenda man until next thing you know he he comes in with with uh with, with peaceable words and swords man yep i was gonna say this too because the scripture saying what in isaiah 19 and 2 it says there's you know the egyptians are going to be against the egyptians you know city against city kingdom against city or kingdom it's like a kingdom against kingdom that's already happening you had um in portland the city of portland said that basically they want to cut off you know trade with the state of texas and if you're on a business trip they want to basically put rules and regulation in where you if you live in this you know the, the, the city of portland you can't go over to texas all right now you could do it personally like, you know if you want to travel to, like texas personally you can do it but if you're on a business trip they want to cut it off and that's going to happen also with uh with places like with uh chicago and other surrounding cities in illinois because chicago governs itself like it's its own state yep you yeah know? definitely and, and a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of towns and cities circling around chicago ain't down for all that man you know aside from uh you know taking the waters and things like that it's, it's shit that, that chicago been doing that that other cities just ain't fucking with man. yeah i uh i remember um this was years back like at least a decade when i was dealing with this woman all right she was uh she wasn't from st louis but she basically was um you got to know the geography but she was on the illinois side basically oh yeah basically so, that border yeah that border and she was you know from all you know that's all the way south you know the, the tip of uh you know that's southern illinois right her people man would be talking shit about chicago about the politics and saying that basically they run everything and they're screwing up you know their school systems down there and this that and the third and they're like basically they said it themselves that they it, chicago needs to break off and do its own thing because we're tired of paying for their their stuff up here you know the stuff up here and we get no benefits from it that makes sense you know so, so yep. that, that's that that's been that, that's that that spirit's been brewing for a long time you know it's coming man so uh, imagine now well, the, you know the, imagine the, now this is what uh because you know what the is is doing this man he said that, uh, suppose you think I come to send peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. And what's so bad about it, Esau thinks he's doing all of this, but the Lord just set him up. He's doing, the Lord is in control over all of this. He's doing this because this is the destruction of this nation. And Esau doesn't even realize that. It's just like uh, when those, when you go back to Egypt and you had those, um, you had Pharaoh's magicians and his magi, what were they doing? They were causing their own witchcraft, but their witchcraft was, was, was help fucking up uh the land man so that's all Esau was doing you helping push more witchcraft to fuck up your own empire you're not doing anything that's gonna make your empire last you're gonna destroy it you're gonna set up a, a weak ass new world order and this lord's gonna come demolish that man that's right is there any more to that yeah uh it says a man shall have no hold on it says for for because of their pride the city shall be troubled Whew. The houses shall be yeah. destroyed. So this is all coming down because of the pride of, of the people. And as the scriptures say in Sirach, the beginning of pride is when one departeth from his maker. Yep. Okay, and if you're departing from your maker, all right, the heavenly father, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're creating your own philosophies, all right, your own ideologies that are going to go against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. And it's ultimately what? A death style is wicked. Yep. So the Lord's got to put you goddamn demons down, man. All right? right, simple as that, man. The Lord's gotta destroy you, all right, for being disobedient. And that's what the Lord's doing right now, man. He's destroying this fucking place, man. 
It's evident, man. This shit ain't, man, this shit ain't how, how, how it used to be in the 90s, 2000s, 80s, 70s, where, you know, you could do a bunch of shit, have fun. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, man, he took the mirth out of this place in the, what, year and a half, two years time span? This place is through. That's right. And it says, uh, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, exactly. All these tough guys, man, are about to be afraid. All these people in the military, hey, the uh, your MMA fighters, your fucking killers, you know what I'm saying? Your thugs and shit. All these hardcore, you know, gangsters and shit, man. That shit's good. When this, when this shit really hits, man, these men are going to be like women, man, crying. Yep. A lot of them are about to see they, their loved ones get put to death. That's going to mess with their psyche. They're going to break down. The Lord's going to break these motherfuckers down, man. Go turn. This mother, <laughs> you know, yeah, and they need it though. Place. Yep, they need it because of what the rebellion. Rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, and witches all, uh, hey, need to be put to death, and that's law. That's real. That's fucking law, baby. All right. That's real. Yep. Um. Uh, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Ooh, that's what's coming. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yep. And their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right. So that's what's coming. Chaos. Desperation. Alright. Yeah, you know, the, the love of many shall wax cold, as the scriptures say. This is what's coming, man. Yep. No good times, man. All you're gonna see is people robbing each other, killing each other, raping each other, eating each other. Man, this is gonna be a grimy, grimy society. Yep. It has to happen, man. Yep. You know, cause uh, for for uh, centuries, millennia, um, this this word is going out, and nobody, you know, took it to heart, man. And in fact, you abused the men that, that that came out speaking these things, saying, "Do not that thing which the Lord hateth, man." And you yep. exalted the proud nations, and whom the Lord set to destroy, man. The Lord had this nation set up to be destroyed, man. And and, and, and you people, you know, you, you enjoy all the benefits that were given to you from this land so much that you despise the righteous uh, words that were being given unto you, man. So therefore, the Lord's about to despise you. As a matter of fact, if I can hop to um, Proverbs real quick, that's right. the reason why this is happening. All right? This is Proverbs chapter 1, uh, verse on... I'm going to start at verse 23. It says, Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my words known unto you. So the Lord is still making these words known unto this nation, unto these people, you know, because the, the children of Israel are here, you know. You still have them here. But two-thirds, of course, won't listen. But, hey, you can't say that the Lord isn't merciful. He's still bringing this out. He said, Turn ye at my reproof. The Lord, it, Lord is enforcing mercy on his people, whether they want it or not. But those that continue to despise it, he's going to destroy it. And it says, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. It says, but you have said it, not all my counsel. Right, y'all y'all take this thing for naught. When you see men out there on the highways and byways, you still take it for naught. And this, and, and these open, you know, everything opened back up. They gave you more of a reason to say that, uh, okay, well, that was cool when shit was getting, getting hard. But now we can go out there and be as wicked as we want to be. We ain't got to hear y'all no more. Cause some of you people were acting like you were, you know, you were you were humbling down. That uh, oh shit, I don't know what what's gonna happen. God help us. Who oh man, you a prophet? Please man. And the Lord proved y'all to be nothing but fools, man. Cause y'all as soon as soon as everything opened back up and you can go out there and do all the wicked shit that you wanted, you took advantage of that. Yeah, shit. They out here in Chicago. Where did they go? They went to Miami. They went to Houston. Yep. They went to all the places where you know, uh, there was no restrictions. They acted a goddamn fool, man. Yep, and it says, and uh, and with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity, and that's why, because we're gonna be laughing, man. Lord willing, men of the Lord are gonna be laughing, man, because we know that the Lord is, is is doing all this, man. That the Lord spoke about this before it happened. Because all this is about to happen is about to be for the entertainment of of the angels, Yahweh Shai, and His elect. 
It's about to be very, very, very hilarious, man. Yo. <laughs> it says, I will also laugh at your calamity. When these, when these things, when the chaos begins to come, we seeing little babies dying, yeah, we're going to laugh at that, man. We're going to laugh. And no matter how gruesome it is, man, we're not going to stop the help. This was the help. It's going to be fuck you in that day. I will mock when your fear coming. Oh, where he see how that niggas running? He's like, oh, he fucking fell on his ass. <laughs> Dog ate his ass inside out. We're going to mock you, man. Do it now. Do it now, right? We do that shit now, man. <laughs> Fuck these people. And that's it, man. The Lord's not dealing with y'all. Hey, if the Lord cannot help thee, how can I? No. <laughs> shit. Simple as that, man. Uh, it says when your uh, I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, so before things get too bad, but once they get like really bad, you know, this internet gets, everything starts first showing its first symptoms like, oh shit, we there. Y'all gonna seek the Lord early. All right, it says, but they shall not find me. Because in that time, shall the prudent keep silent, man? The men that saw these things come to pass are not gonna talk to you. It's either they will say fuck you, or we'll be ready to kill your ass in this day, man. Get the hell away from me. It's called Hawaii and Laya Hell Bashmi, I'll try to If you don't know what that means, get the fuck away from me. Uh, it says, second edge is 15 and uh, 19. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Behold, saith the Most High, will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the sun, uh, that's going into something else. But ultimately, hey, these people are gonna have to bow their knee, man. The Lord's gonna either, uh, for, he's gonna make you do it by force, or you're gonna do it willingly. You're gonna praise your how about you, man, shot, you know what I mean? Everyone's gonna show that respect to, uh, to, you know, first and foremost, of course, Yahweh being because, you know, he's the most high and also his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Well, actually, no, this still kind of, because it, it's talking about all these wicked kingdoms. The Lord's about to punish the entire earth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's going to bow down, yep, man. Yep. Whether they do it willingly or whether they uh, get forced to do it. Uh -huh. You know? Fuck you people, man. Yep, it says, uh, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and the Lebanese, to turn themselves one against another. And repay the things that they have done to them, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So that's what, hey, like like initially what I was just talking about. Ever, ever since the prophecy has been coming out, since the beginning of time, you know, the son of man himself, Yahweh Shai, coming out speaking his word. You, you, what do you do? You, you mock this, you abuse the servants. You made it hard for us to go out there and teach this. You did not follow it. In whatever form of your disposition or how you you hate it and despise this word the lord has a vendetta with you yeah how about me how shy has a vendetta with you and it says so will I, I do also in recompensing their bosom thus saith the lord god my right hand shall not spare the sinners and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth so yeah how was shy all right he's, he's the one that's sitting at the right hand and the Father and the Lord is going to use him, all right, to destroy the wicked. Yep. And you new people have no excuses, all right? From your two-thirds to Esau to the other, you know, nations, you have no excuse, man. So you're about to get your, uh, they always talk about justice. Hey, justice is coming. Yep. It's coming. No justice, no peace. All right? That's right. <laughs> you know, hey, there, there is no peace to the wicked. <laughs> yep. You know? But uh, is that it on there? It was uh, pretty much it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's off. It's already yeah, getting yeah. kind of late. <laughs> but um, but yeah, hey, you know, hopefully this was edifying. You know, we're just gonna end it off. Oh, just check um, check if anybody put anything on the comment board real quick. Okay. Let's see um. Brother said LAPD filed a lawsuit. Yes, yeah. As the brother said, LAPD filed a lawsuit. Okay. Anything else? Uh, 5.8, nothing, you know, 
Yeah, but yeah, that goes with the topic, though. Hey, you got. Hey, you. Yeah, I, I've seen that a lot of uh, cities. Um, they're they're uh, um, you know suing uh, the Biden administration. You, there's so much going on. There's all these you know particular organizations, you know, sects that are suing you know, you know this city or that city. It's just straight madness and chaos. This place is through Akim. Hey man, praise the Lord, man. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Yah Shot, man. That's all you can do, man. This is beautiful. This is what we've been waiting for, what we've yep. been preaching, man. Man. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Shot. Hey, double honors to the apostles and elders, uh, you know, like, you know, uh, of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there in the Baba Ball. This place is almost done.